<laughs> Zippity doo dah. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday to you. This is Rusty78609 from Fort Clark Springs, Texas on a cool morning. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. What's the temperature? Currently in Bracketville, it's 38 degrees. Bully, bully. High today is supposed to be 61. That's January weather. What's going on? I want to give a shout out to Mello from Florida. They sent me a thank you. See that? It says thank you on it. And then on the back, you see all that stuff? I'll tell you what it is. I'll show you in a minute. It says, you're the best. Thank you for your service, Mello Yellow. And then underneath, it's got three hat pins. A Mongolian hat pin. Rusty's Ranger hat pin and Capitan New Mexico hat pin, and I'll show them to you. Pretty neat stuff, guys. Check that out. So anyway, thank you. I would have done a, a, a mail call thing, but getting lazy in my old age. But thank you very much, Mello, for the hat pins. They, they'll they go on my hat. How thoughtful. Anyway, enjoy your day in Florida. Hope it's warmer there. And let's see what town it was in Florida. I can, I, I can never get them back in the envelope. It is from Merritt Island. Hey, Google, what's the temperature on Mer Merritt Island, Florida? The current temperature in Merritt Island is 70 degrees. <laughs> Yo, there you go. There's a little summer for you. Anyway, uh, yesterday I met with my YouTube partner. He's uh, from the Philippines. And we chatted for about an hour or more. And But it, we had a little difficulty getting a hookup because it's some kind of a google program where you've got a visual on your laptop of him and you know it's it's live uh, deal and uh, yeah it was pretty it worked out all right once we got it going and uh yeah uh the recommendations were well i'll do a video and tell you all about it and i did a video of him and me visiting but it's about an hour long video and uh it, it the first five minutes are difficult because of the it was, I was getting a lot of feedback from something. And, you know, you know strange noises in the mic or whatever. But anyway, we got it done. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It's right now. And right now just went right on by. So if there's anything you want to do, like me, you better be doing it. I got me another shirt. See here? These are, I got two of these colorful things. Not bad, huh? They're just really lightweight windbreakers. It's a little cool for a windbreaker today outside, but inside it's 58 degrees. It's just right. But having said that, uh, well, I'm still living in an RV. This is a Class C motorhome, as most of you know, probably every one of you. And uh, I'll be in here for a while. Never worry about what you cannot change, but I can change a few things. And I may change cars here in the next year. Uh, why? The, the, uh, the Chevy Bolt's a fine car. Would I buy it again? Yeah. Uh, but, 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 uh, I was, I want to get a Toyota Prius. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I just do. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, when you see the 2023s, you're going to be very impressed. You're going to know why I'm jumping on this bandwagon now. Uh, there, it's going to be rated at over 60, 60 miles to the gallon. And it's going to be, well, you know, with all, with, by the time you get it delivered, it'll be around 30000 They say it's going to be around twenty six, twenty seven, But, you know, by the time the dealer packs it and all the stuff. But we'll see. I'm going to see if I can order one here in the next little bit, if I can work a deal. I, the deal, I, I talked to him at uh, Del Rio. The guy never called me back. I sent him pictures of my car, the VIN. He was going to give me a quote. Nothing. I hate that when they do that because it only takes a few minutes. But anyway, enough said. Uh, what else? Uh, let's do some comments here, Rusty. Okay. Uh, did I do all that stuff? Yeah, I did that. So, the Dogman Chronicles, Jim and the gang on uh, uh, in a van. Check his channel out. He says, hell yeah, go for it. Keep life exciting for you, Romeo and the goat. Yo, Romeo's right over here. Ding. <laughs> stay, boy, stay. <laughs> and the rooster. I got the rooster trained, too. Anyway, Thank you, Jim. Check his channel out on YouTube. D. Anderson. The Prius V would be good because it is larger and can haul more stuff. Did Rusty sleep in his Prius? Yes, he did. Seems kind of small for sleeping. It ain't. It's fine. No, I don't want a Prius V. Mm -mm. Nope. No, I want the regular Prius, just like I've had. They're damn good cars for me. And, I, I, you know, 
uh, if, you know, if push comes to shove, you know, I mean, I, uh, I'll just keep what I've got. I mean, the Bolt is a great car. I've, got, I've gotten into the rhythm of the electric car and charging it and so forth. So it's not a problem with me. And I got 300 miles range. So I certainly am not uh, suffering from range anxiety other than if I go to a place uh, 200 miles away, I need to charge before I come back. You see what I mean? But we'll see. It'll all work out because I'll make it work out. That's why. Uh, Louis Paparella at 2339, the cops still hiding behind the shrubbery to the right. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Uh, same person, them white and green vehicles have been very busy in your area. Watch your six. Yeah, your six o'clock position. That's your directly behind you. Twelve, straight ahead. Three, nine. You got it. And anyway, Ken and PA. Hey, Rusty, I just read that Toyota Prius is debuting the new Prius. Oh, hell, I've been waiting on this for a month. Uh, deb debuting a new Prius this week and then production start early next year. You may not, you may want to wait. Yeah, no, I am. I'm going to get a 2023. Th yeah. Thank you, Ken. But yeah, keep yeah keep shooting me comments like that. Uh, he says, why not just buy of uh, Tesla three? <laughs> Sixty thou? No, I doubt that. No, I can buy two of something else. No, they're they're fifty to sixty thousand. I don't care what they tell you. By the time you get it delivered, you're looking at least fifty on the cheapest one they've got. <clears throat> and I don't want a, 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 a Tesla anyway, man. I've looked at them. Uh, they're they're not that well built in my opinion i mean the, the the chevy bolt is better than a tesla in my opinion of course which is worth nothing evan hodge pers on the perspective we leave what we leave behind is the work we do and for some the love we give might as well make it our best work thanks for being such an interesting speaker so many things come from your video narrative sir i always learn good things good you have spirit enough for a bunch of people yeah, well, you know, the perspective is, is uh, interesting. Hey, Google, define perspective. Here's the definition of perspective. The art of drawing solid objects on a two-dimensional surface so as to give the right impression of their height, width, depth, and position in relation to each other when viewed from a particular point. Also, it's a particular attitude toward or way of regarding something, a point of view. That thing she just said, I what the hell that was. But anyway, John B. Rusty, mistake. That's the Prius V, not the C. It, C is a dud, old buddy. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. No, I don't want a Prius C and I don't want a Prius V. I just want the regular Prius. And I'll do what I do and you do what you do. Uh, I, I, I didn't say anything about the Prius C. Uh, no, we're, I'm just going to get a regular Prius. Thank you, though. D.E. Christie. Hey, amigo, I'm still with you whenever you decide to go on the adventure. F fellow Rangers, enjoy this life every moment of it. Well, see, that's the thing. You know, I want to wake up. See, it's just I just got out of bed. It's like, uh, what time is it? Hell, I don't know. 6.15 a.m. You know, I've been up for about 30 minutes and, uh, you know, fixing, getting my breakfast ready and stuff. But I want to wake up with with uh, with fire. You know, I mean, I want to wake up and go. You know, I mean, I want to wake up with my engine running. You know what I mean? I don't want to go. Oh well, another day. You know, watch Fox News. Patui. You know what I mean? Uh, Everyday Explorer, Mr. Toad scene. Yeah, well, here you go. Somebody sent me a link here to a Mr. Toad scene, Wind in the Willows. Yeah, it's funnier than shit, man. You got to watch Wind in the Willows. All right. And then you have a picture of somebody or people like me. You know what I mean? They, they just go nuts over crap. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Everyday Explorer. I'll look at that in a minute. King for a day. We all know who to thank for cars, new or used, not being a available and expensive. I don't know. I, I don't thank anybody. It's the way it is. You know, just deal with it. You know, thank you, though, King for a day. Everyday Explorer, uh, go for it. Keep the horizon on the move. It's all about staying interested and enjoying life. And by the way, the Prius camping videos were great. Take care. Find your adventure. You know, that was only five or six years ago when I was doing that. Five, six, seven years ago. Yeah, I watched some of them last night uh, laying in bed there. And uh, and I impressed myself how, how well organized I was. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Yeah. Would I do that again? Man, I don't know. That's uh. It's, uh, there's a little bit more to it than just driving down the highway with your arm hanging out the window. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, uh, you know, you got to have a place to go. Uh, you got to have a setup so you can get outside for a while. No, it's, uh, 
it's it's pretty well weather contingent, okay? Driver Dan, man, oh man, Rusty is at it again. Surprise, surprise. What a great thing to hear a man in his dream dreams. Cannot wait to see how you unfold this plan and ma manifest it into reality. Well, first of all, they got to build the car, all right? And, and they're not even settling them in the U.S. yet, the Prius uh, 2023. But it's it's going to be a redesign. It's, it's the fifth generation, and, and I had... Uh, I had the second generation and the third generation, and and now I'd be getting the fifth. And and they're a great car. I really enjoyed it. Uh, one, you can tow it behind a, a uh, an RV uh, on, a, on when you get the front wheels off the ground, okay? Because it's front wheel drive, just like the electric car. But the only thing is, it's it's got really low ground clearance, and some it's, some people have had issues getting them up on the on the tow dolly. But I'll, I'll work on that. I mean, I'll figure it out. Uh, okay, let's go. Here we go. Bob Ross. Good morning, Bob. Rusty, you live in a police state. Survey. Now, I, I live where I live here. I live in Fort Clark Springs. I ain't worried about the police state. Anyway, thank you, Bob. Uh, time zone. A Toyota Prius is a great choice. Thank you. Thank you. I, 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 I agree. Uh, I RV living with the geezer. Rusty, I think it's a good move. Going back to a Prius, you definitely you're definitely limiting limiting your travel in the EV. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not limiting my travel at all. Uh, the only thing is, is uh, you know, I could go uh, 250 miles in one direction, and that's all I'll drive in a day anyway, or less. I only want to drive four hours a day. So four hours at an average in a car of 50 miles an hour, 200 miles. So I can go in the boat. Okay, I just got to get back. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's just I just want to do it. You know what I mean? I just want to do it. I may go. Uh, do some uh, camping in the Prius. I don't know. I mean, I could do it in the Bolt. It's not quite laid out right for it. But anyway, uh, anyway, it says, uh, it says at this stage of our lives, we need to be able to go whenever we want without worrying about where to find power. Well, you know, I'm not wor worried about it at all, actually. Uh, I, I just am aware of it, you know. And uh, no, I, I'm fine. You know, I, d don't think I'm worried about anything because I'm not. I'm just making a new plan. You know, this is, for me, uh, that's the way life is, you know, I mean, I, uh, my life is moving, you know, let's get going here, guys, and then I'm not spending a lot, of, I, 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 hardly any money, you know what I mean, I just move, they're going to give me at least what I've paid for, for the bolt uh, on trade-in, so hell, I'm fine, uh, John Henry, uh, me thinks Rusty does not know that we know what he's up to, it's as plain as the thumb for a nose or whatever, he is going to really go in all this time, living on an electric motorcycle <laughs> yeah i hear you yeah it says oh this is a beer 30 video right now anyway thank you a bmw rider keep hunting that prius it will show up eventually i was considering a prius but gave in and traded for a honda pilot to use when i hit the road but surely would rather have had a prius yeah the great thing about the prius i've said this before that hybrid stuff works man uh, the, that's the greatest plus for the Prius. I mean, if, 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 that's a big if. I mean, big if. If I decided to go camping for a few days at a time, being able to stay comfortable inside the, the car is nice. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, BMW rider. Uh, Anita Simmons, HG rider, wrote some great stories. I love your walking trail. And most snakes will stay out of your way. Thank you for taking us along on your journey. You're quite welcome, Anita. This is Miss Rio on the tiny home. I love this. This is some positive thinking. Ugly design. Not enough windows. Looks like a bus or a barn. <clears throat> Looks like a little house to me, babe. Brian Melton. Anytime you can replace a Chevrolet with a Toyota, you better go for it. Uh, I actually a lot of people don't understand that the that Chevrolet has really hit a home run with the all electric Chevy Bolt. The price is right, the build quality is excellent, and they've got a lot of features on this car that you won't find <clears throat> on other cars. You know, you, you've got the uh, the uh, the uh, charging you know for your phone that you don't you, know, you just lay it on this in this little thing and it charges what do you call it and then you've got uh, uh, the super uh, uh, cruise control 
you know, you got all kind. You got heated steering wheel, heated seats, all kind of stuff, man. <clears throat> no, it's a good car, for, I, in my opinion. D. McCarty, yeah, I would go with the Prius as well. They are the best hybrid on the market for sure. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. They've been they they invented the hybrid market. You know, K. Bob Hope, uh, just get married to a woman with a Prius, Rusty. Make sure you check out her Prius before you check out anything else. Yeah, there was a joke about that. The guy wanted to buy a boat. He was looking for a woman that had a boat or something. Anyway, Keith Bronson, be a good neighbor and put your trash in the can. <laughs> Back on the meds there, Keith. Isn't that what trash cans are for? Yeah, speaking of which. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, William Crawford, end of video, sea trooper on side of road. Hiding under tree. Yeah, they, they do the craziest shit, man. Some of these guys are so gung-ho, which is fine. It's their deal. But, you know, that you know, right over a hill on the right or, or left, you know, they're behind a tree. Right over a hill, you understand? So you can't slow down, you know what I mean? <clears throat> no, they're, they're in business. James Micken, enjoyed listening in on the phone call on the Prius. Thanks, Rusty. Oh, you're welcome. But he, they never call back. Mm -mm, never. Jason's Texas Adventures, interesting video. I say do what makes you happy. Sometimes it's a thrill to make a change of plans. Yeah, it is. It's always fun. And you know what I wish Toyota would do at all, all auto manufacturers is give you the ability to order online. Okay? In other words, go to toyota.com, pick out your car, pick out all the features, order the car, and then have it delivered to the nearest dealership and give them 100 bucks or whatever they give them. You know what I mean? But going through all this crap with a dealer is not uh, a good business model anymore with the Internet, as Tesla has proven. <clears throat> Jason's Texas Adventures, interesting video. I say do what makes you happy. Sometimes it's a thrill to make a change of plans. Oh, it's always a, a thrill, you know. Uh, it, for me, it is. For me, it is. It's just, you know, it, it just adds flavor to life, you know what I mean? James Micken, good day, Rusty, good day. Does the convenience of the mobility and travel costs of the Prius outweigh the convenience of your own home on wheels and its associated travel costs? Are there other factors in the decision? Let the adventures continue. Uh, well, no, it's just fun, that's all. It's just different. It, it, you can't compare it with the Class C motorhome. I mean, this is a home. I mean, I got a toilet and a shower and everything. In the Prius, you don't have anything. No, and, and I may not. I may not uh, use the Prius for camping. It's just that I could if I chose to. You know, I, I I don't know that I will. Okay, shift into high. I believe the term you're looking for in car business is jump the trade. LOL. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, they they always uh, have a, a cute word. Uh, what do we got? Here? We'll, we'll do three or four more here and shut her down. Uh, Tom says you may have a luxury. You may. You have a luxury motorhome. Why would you want to sleep in the back of the car? Have you ever done it, Tom? It's kind of interesting. It's fun. Uh, shift into high. It says, you're right. I know you had two, silver and white. You may have had another. I can't agree. I can't. I agree. Can't remember. Check on the passive hybrid, not plug-in. Uh, no, I'm not going to get a... I really don't want a uh, plug-in hybrid. I, I'd rather just have the old hybrid like I had. But anyway... Thank you, Shift Into High. Sweetness, catchy name. It's like a chess game, the fun of it. Can he make a good deal? It's a challenge. Yeah, it is. A lot of fun. Kim, no channel Underwood. Hello, Kim. <laughs> good morning. Says, you do you, big guy. You keep life interesting. Well, I try to. How you doing? Are you in Capitan again or are you in uh, uh, Alamogordo? Anyway, good morning to you, Kim. No channel. <laughs> That's what uh, Frugal and I were calling her. Yeah, Kim, no channel. Yeah. Yeah, they were they were camp hosts at a campground near Capitan, New Mexico, when I met them. And uh, frugal uh, frugal RV gal, that's her channel on YouTube. She has a YouTube channel, and then Kim didn't have one, so her name became Kim No Channel. <laughs> uh, Terry Ann Tennyson, I have a green Toyota Prius 2019, uh, not plug-in, very low mileage. What's very low? 50. Uh, Michael Cup. You do you. Good luck. Hope all your dreams come true. I do too. I really do. Uh, let me do one more. Linda Miller, hybrid is what I want. Yeah, me too. I'm looking to hybrid. I was going to get a hybrid when I got this, but 
uh, they didn't have anything I wanted, and it took too long to get one, and I wanted I wanted an electric car. And now I know about electric cars. They're wonderful. I think they'll work wonderfully for the world's population, and I think it's a good transition. But having said that, from Fort Clark Springs, Texas, on a cool morning, this is Rusty78609 saying, boom, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you a penny. Just click on the link, go to Amazon, buy whatever you want if you're going to buy something from Amazon anyway. But anyway, what else you do you? Uh, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid it. Gout. Kidney stones also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and uh, you won't want to eat so much as in snack. The only way to lose weight and keep it off, and you know it and I know it, is eat less, and that's it. Get a smaller plate. What else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress, and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Puts it down, babe. So, yeah, uh, take deep breaths several times a day. And then what else? Ding, ding, ding. Stretch your fingers and arms and stuff. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. This is your head, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought you have. So, huh? Add all positive information. Give your neurons positive stuff to work with. You know, don't watch the negative news. It's your choice. I mean, if you want to sit and watch MSNBC 24 hours a day, go for it. You know, and then die at the ripe old age of 30. Anyway, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. Uh, let's see. Th uh, accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease. At ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha, until the noon video, which will be, I think I'll, we'll talk about uh, the uh, YouTube partner program, and I'll kind of tell you what they recommended. Anyway, adios, guys, bye-bye.